it's recording. Good morning, YouTube. Give a thumbs up for Hunter. <laughs> uh, we've got an install today that should be interesting. Apparently, there is a furnace in a closet that chases up through into the attic, and we've got to move it. Pulling the furnace out of the closet and going to stick it into the attic and then tie back into the return through the hole where the furnace used to come. And I'm guessing we're tying back into the refrigerant line sort of thing. So that's where we're headed. Stay tuned. There's our furnace. It's in the closet. And the coil actually makes its way into the attic. Refrigerant lines go to the attic, drain line goes down, and then we've got a return right here. So, we're going to work on getting this thing out of here. Look at that refrigerant line. See that? Comes up from the wall, goes across, does the loop de loop, and down into the closet. That is quality if I ever saw it. But this is the attic we're dealing with. This is going to be fun. Doesn't that coil look amazing? I'm sure it was working really, really well. Oh, I can see the attic. Got the coil and the plenum out through the top. Going to drop the furnace out of the closet and then bring the coil and plenum back down through this hole probably take the new furnace up through this hole and then we'll close the hole in and uh, run a piece of flex through it to tie into the return that used to be under the closet
Okay, we got the hole patched. We're going to reinforce it since it's in two pieces. Put a brace somewhere in there. One at the end overlapping the top plate of the wall. And one at the end overlapping the top plate over here. We're going to end up with a, about an 18 inch hole coming through the plywood for the return flex. And then it will go back behind there and tie into the return plenum over here. On the supply side, you're going to have a plenum collar coming off the back, looping around the rafter and hitting this trunk line here. And then one on the front looping around and hitting that trunk line there so that there's nothing coming off the end of the plenum and we build even pressure across both uh, trunks. Alright guys, so I neglected to get video for some of day two because I got a late start and I was wide open. But we got the supply tied in, got the line set run, got B vent connected, we got the return looping around the back, high, tight, and secure. We did a couple of minutes of air conditioning run just to make sure that everything was running well, but the numbers don't look like what they would other or you know for final numbers when it's actually got load on the house and everything but we got it all done I don't think we're doing too bad the platform is fantastic yes <laughs> you're right we built this city on rock and roll. All right guys, so it is about a quarter after 8 p.m. We got the job finished up and we're headed back to the shop. Things went pretty well. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, give a thumbs up for Hunter. Bye.